Hello, New Bedford Public Schools community. Your support continues to be appreciated as we work together during this time. Again, thank you to the entire New Bedford Public Schools team for supporting one another and our students and their families so that learning has been able to continue. Everyone's unselfishness and willingness to collaborate has helped us navigate this situation in an outstanding way. Thanks for your time for the next few minutes as I highlight a few points and update you on our plans for increasing in-person learning in grades 6 through 12, middle and high school. I want to again congratulate Aiden Sulo and Abdiel Martinez for being selected for all state and participating in the Massachusetts Music Educators Association's festival. Also, congratulations to our many seniors who are receiving numerous college acceptances. Excellent job. Please visit our New Bedford Public Schools website to see the complete list. Over the last couple of years, our team has been working to strengthen our English language supports and educational translation interpretation services. Below are a few highlights we have established as we look to see our educational translation and interpretation services office, which is now available to support two-way communication with parents who speak other languages than English at home. We built a system where parents can reach and communicate with schools in their native languages, using a phone line that provides 350 different languages, including Kiche. School staff can now use this phone line to communicate with parents in their native language. From September 2020 to today, our schools have made almost 4,200 calls using this phone line, including many Zoom meetings using interpreters in Spanish, Kiche, Portuguese, Arab, Creole, French, Mandarin, Vietnamese, French, and Russian. Our dual language program has been running for three consecutive years. Students enrolled in this program receive 50% of their instruction in English and 50% in Spanish. We're now accepting enrollment for new kindergarten registrations, up to 50 students, who will be chosen by lottery on June 1st, 2021. We provide ESL instruction in all 25 schools, including parenting teens. Remember that we offer language development after school English language tutoring programs at Congdon, Duvall's Elementary, Hathaway, Jacobs, Gomes, Hayden McFadden, and New Bedford High School. Our newcomers program to support students who are new to the country are at Hayden McFadden, Jacobs, Roosevelt, and New Bedford High School. We also offer ESOL classes through our adult education program for parents who we are continuing to support. As we look to support all of our students that need more attention, we focus on what those special needs are. This year, our district equity and development team has over 45 individuals, students, parents, community members, and staff. They've been meeting monthly to discuss and improve our district's equity plan. In January, New Bedford Public Schools held an equity, diversity, and social justice training in partnership with the Racial Equity Institute. We had over 80 staff and community partners participating. Our staff and community partners recently completed a 21-day racial equity and social justice challenge. Each day, staff and community members would receive links to articles and videos which challenge them to think about and discuss the issues of social justice we're facing today. We're also collaborating with the YWCA to offer continued equity and diversity and social justice training for all teachers, administrators, and support staff, which will be doing this throughout the year to benefit our students and the community. Our Family Institute for Student Success, also FIS, has expanded to include five additional schools this year. FIS is a nine-week parent empowerment program where parents learn how to navigate the school system to better support their children at home through their education. To date, we have graduated about 135 parents from Gomes Elementary, Hayden McFadden, Parker, and Jacobs Elementary Schools, impacting about 230 students. We're finishing two courses at Pachico Elementary and Hathaway Elementary this next week and expect to graduate another 50 parents from the program. So starting on April 13th, we'll be starting FIS at Campbell Elementary and Brooks Elementary Schools. We also encourage all parents who are interested, all interested families at those schools to please sign up. For our planning to increase in-person instruction, we continue to execute effective mitigation strategies with the use of plexiglass in classrooms and in cafeterias. 
We connect regularly with our local, state, and national health officials to stay abreast of current information. The emphasis on being proactive is even more important now. Mask wearing, hand sanitizing, and appropriate distancing remains critical and are still required in this process. Our more than 800 air exchange units, air scrubbers, and our classrooms have helped us to have over 9,000 students in in-person learning this year, as we support another 4,000 students who have been in Cohort D, the distance learning format. Safety remains our priority, and these strategies, in addition to the over 800 ex air exchange units, updated filters, and plexiglass partitions and borders added to some classrooms have positioned our schools to safely use three feet as a minimum in some locations, as six feet can still be the target in many spaces. Our middle schools are targeting the week of April 5th for their phase in to in-person, full in-person learning. One grade level per day until that Friday, April 9th, when all grades will be fully back. This phase in will hopefully be complete by April 9th. For New Bedford High School, the plan is to have students in cohorts B who have been attending schools two days a week to transition to five days a week in-person learning on April 5th. Students in cohort C will begin their five days of in-person instruction on April 7th. Students currently in cohort D, as we've said before, will continue to learn from home until further notice. A reminder to all high school families of students in cohorts B and C who have not, read, who have not responded to the survey confirming their return to full in-person learning, please do so. Please contact New Bedford High School with any questions. So just as a reminder, as I shared before, our increase will not look the same for all elementary or middle schools. And in some schools, classrooms will be different. Schools should not be compared to one another in how they address their logistics. So for example, Available classroom space in schools vary based on several factors, including room configurations, cabinet sizes, desk sizes, wall space, equipment, etc. So just another reminder, as we solidify the changes for cohorts A, B, and C, we'll begin to address the changes and requests for those in cohort D who want to transition from full distance to in-person. So please allow a few more weeks for us to address, to address that. Appropriate distancing and proper airflow still dictate the number of students who will be placed in classrooms for all schools and all grade levels. So again, in closing, please contact your child's teacher for information on tutoring, which is available for free at no charge to students in all grades. Stay tuned as we plan for summer programs and programming as more information will be coming out. The effort of wearing the masks, sanitizing our hands, and being distanced from others is paying off. Mask wearing and limited interactions will be strictly enforced. We cannot let our guard down as the contagiousness of the virus still exists. So again, thank you for doing your part. Keep checking our website, newbedfordschools.org, our Facebook page, or stay updated. And you can always call our family support line at 508-997-4515 for help with any topic. Remember, we are all in this together. And best wishes for the upcoming holiday, no matter how you celebrate, Passover, Easter, Ramadan, is a season of reflection, renewal, and hope as we continue to address these challenges before us together. Think of others, mask up, and stay safe. Thank you.